Part two of our cocoa crafts, Dennis is going to show us what we can do with this amazing stuff that just keeps falling from the sky. Yep. Okay, so what we're going to do uh, for this part is we're going to make some rope uh, out of coconut husk, right? So um, in a coconut, uh, you have the tough outer shell. So we're not going to use that part today, right? Today we're going to use this fiber. So what you do is you just tear the, uh, a little bit of the fiber out, right? Okay. And then you just take a small little piece. And what we are going to do is, you notice that there are long fibers in here, right? We want to separate out these long fibers um, from these little bits that you see here, okay? So like connective tissue. Right. So what you can do is you can uh, rub them in your hands and you notice that it comes down like snow. Some people, uh, if you're less hairy in the legs, <laughs> and you can rub it Ow, against it hurts. your legs. Okay. And that's when you'll notice, right? You start seeing more of the fibers. So these are the fibers that we'll need for today. Okay? So this is something that you would want to end up with, right? Thin, long strands of fiber. So to start off the rope, uh, what you want to do is you want to take some fiber, depending on how thick you want the rope to be. Okay, I got and some fiber. So hold it with your two thumbs right, in the center. One, two, in okay. the center. And then make sure you make a little inverted U shape. And what you want to do is you want to twist your thumb either towards the left or towards the right, but make sure it's both in the same direction. So for example, I'm going to twist towards my left. Right? So you twist towards your left, and you just continue twisting your thumb towards your left, and you notice that you will form a little loop, right? Don't stop. So you just keep twisting, twisting, and eventually you'll twist it into a piece of rope. But what if I want this rope longer? Right, so if you want so I just longer... have to find the world's largest coconut? <laughs> no, no, no. So you, you, you wouldn't need, need like a super long... Ease of five. For example, uh, in my case, the this side is shorter than this side, right? So I'm just going to splice together two ends. So how do you do it? Nothing fancy. Just hold it together. Okay. So this is the new stuff. And then you just continue twisting, and you notice that eventually it will add itself. So you can continue twisting for as long as you want, and keep adding more pieces of fiber. Okay. So once you're done, let's say this is the end of the rope, uh, how do you end it? So basically, you just tie a little knot. Right? Any kind of knot would do. There, there's a piece of rope, right? And it's super strong. It I, yeah, I can't right? believe how strong this stuff ends up being. I was <laughs> like, okay, well it'll be like a cute little wisp of something, but no, this can really hold some weight. Right, yeah. And we've even been experimenting with uh, uh, doing the same thing with little metal threads combined with the coconuts and so you can have a, a, a coconut outside um, that's conductive. You can have a con your own coconut conductive wire. 